So that's what happens when our muscle contracts. So the question is, is stretching important? The better stretch we get in the muscle, the harder it can contract. Technically, no. When we have the range of motion that we need, we don't need to do the stretching. So the next question is, well, how much range of motion do we need in order not to need to do the stretches? Well, let's take, for example, reaching above your head. That takes about 180 degrees of flexion within the shoulder in order to move correctly. If we don't move correctly, what do we do? We get a pinch in the shoulder, we move from the back, and eventually that's going to be causing an injury. Unlike a car, which is my favorite analogy, when it runs out of gas, what happens? It stops. When we run out of range of motion or when we don't have the range of motion that we need, we continue to find a way. If you can't do a nice squat because of the hip mobility, your knee mobility, your Achilles is too tight, yet you sit and stand all day, or even worse, you're playing with your dog or your child and you're getting on the floor and off of the floor, but you don't have the range of motion you need to in your joints in order for you to do that, pain-free, this is gonna be a problem because like I said, unlike a car, if you don't have the range of motion, because the body's the most sophisticated machine built to date, it will find a way. The problem is the way it's going to find is not tax-free. There's a credit system, if you will, and eventually you're gonna to have to pay the tax man when he comes for all of that bad movement. So is stretching crucial and important? No, not necessarily but range of motion and mobility and moving in a good position with the joint space needed is. And how do we usually get that? Well, unfortunately, because we're not moving around and walking and roaming and gathering like our ancestors were, we are losing a lot of what we had when we were children. And so what do we do to reclaim that? Well, a lot of it is gonna be the stretching and the mobility work that we need to do. You might notice sometimes though, that you go into certain exercises and maybe your chest stretch or your toe touch or your Achilles, certain things, certain stretches, the range of motion is there. Well, if the range of motion is there, there's no need to go deep into that exercise and consistently do it. I would suggest going ahead and doing it every once in a while, 45, 50, 60 seconds, just so you don't lose it and you know that you always maintain it and have it it's also good for the nervous system and the hydration of the muscles. But what you want to do to help stay pain-free and to become pain-free, and most importantly, stay that way, is you want to find out your areas of tightness, if you will, because instead of saying you are you know, broken by your weakest link, we would say you are broken technically by your tightest link. You want to find what individually needs to be worked on with your body find the best way to open it up so you can regain that motion. So if you grab the sugar, you reach above your head, you sit in a chair, you get on the floor, you have the space, you have the mobility, you have the ability to move naturally without having all these little parking brakes up that eventually are going to break you and you're able to do it easily. So find those spaces, use them, do those stretches and understand that really stretching is not the most important thing in the world. However, range of motion is, and if you're missing that range of motion, one great way to get it back, or two great ways to get it back, would be mobility and stretching.